from Mission Control Houston, and welcome to Space Station Live. It's Thursday, September 12th, 2013. You're joining us here inside of the International Space Station Flight Control Room, located at the Johnson Space Center in Houston, Texas. Inside the room right now, the Orbit 2 team on console, monitoring the systems and the astronauts on board the International Space Station. They're being led today by Flight Director Mike Lammers there on the right in the blue. And speaking to him right now is today's Capcom, David St. Jock, serving as the communication link between all of our teams down here on the ground and the astronauts up in space. Those astronauts right now, the crew of Expedition 37, in the very early stages of their expedition since uh, three previous crew members just departed earlier this week. On board, NASA astronaut Karen Nyberg, uh, also Expedition 37 commander and Russian cosmonaut Fyodor Yurchikin, and finally, European Space Agency astronaut Luca Parmitano. The three have been on board the International Space Station since May 28th, so, uh, since launching from the Baikonur Cosmodrome in Kazakhstan, previously part of Expedition 36, now in the second full day of Expedition 37. The crew uh, enjoyed an off-duty day yesterday, but are back at uh, various maintenance tasks and experiment work across the station complex. Starting off with current Expedition 37 Commander Fyodor Yurchikin, who's spending uh, all of his time over in the Russian segment today. Uh, on the task list for him is some maintenance on the Russian Electron system, which is uh, one of two systems on board the station responsible for generating breathable oxygen for the astronauts and cosmonauts on board. He'll also be doing some work uh, with a number of experiments, uh, doing some startup work on a few. Um, one of them uh, being the Russian Matryoshka experiment, uh, named after the famous set of uh, Russian nested dolls. It's a, a radiation uh, experiment study that uses a series of sliced uh, dosimeters in a mannequin-sized body to measure uh, the radiation loads that these astronauts are exposed to uh, while orbiting the Earth from 270 miles above the surface. Moving on, uh, European Space Agency astronaut Luca Parmitano is getting his hands on some science today inside of the microgravity science glove box. He's working on the in space 3 experiment which looks to obtain data on uh, fluids that contain particles that are able to change the physical properties of those fluids uh, when responding to uh, varying magnetic fields. Uh, on Earth uh, such materials that respond this way are typically used for uh, vibration dampening systems that can be turned on and off. Uh, this type of technology has a lot of promise down here on Earth to improve the ability uh, to design structures, uh, namely things like bridges and buildings, to better withstand earthquake forces. So while this uh, taking place on a very small scale on board the International Space Station has uh, the implication for some very uh, far-reaching effects down here on Earth. Aside from that experiment today, uh, Luca will be joining with Karen Nyberg to gather some items up for disposal in the upcoming Cygnus demo flight to the International Space Station. Uh, that Cygnus vehicle is scheduled to launch under a week away from today on September 17th and uh, dock with the uh, station on September 22nd. will be the first demonstration flight of uh, the Orbital Sciences vehicle uh, resupplying the International Space Station. See a, a photo of that vehicle here. Uh, throughout the week, we've been hearing from uh, a number of the teams here in Mission Control uh, as they continue to prepare for that flight. We'll be hearing from one uh, later this morning. And then meanwhile, on board the station, the third and final crew member, NASA astronaut Karen Nyberg, uh, has been tasked with uh, some routine maintenance uh, necessary for these crews on board the International Space Station. She's been working inside of the crew quarters, doing a little bit of house cleaning, uh, taking uh, the intake and exhaust ducts out and cleaning those out and also the fan and airflow sensors uh, may seem kind of mundane but uh, those uh, devices on board the station very critical for the uh, health and uh, safety of these astronauts to maintain a uh, breathable atmosphere uh, moving uh, expelled gas like carbon di dioxide uh, away from the astronauts uh, inside the cabin as that microgravity environment presents a, a very unique challenge to maintaining a breathable atmosphere. Aside from that work, Nyberg also gathering some items up for eventual disposal on Cygnus and relocating a few hardware items uh, across the U.S. segment. Uh, but again, this is uh, just the second full day of Expedition 37 as the crew continues to throw themselves back into a lot of science work 
maintenance work on board the International Space Station.